Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. Today, the type of problem that we are going to deal with is permutation always together. In last videos, we discussed on the two types of problem. One is with numbers, another is with repeated letters and non-repeated letters and repetition allowed and not allowed. Today, we are going to deal with always together type of problem. In always together problems, we have three types. One is vowels always together, consonants together and other words together. First, let's start with vowels always together. The question is, how many words can be formed when vowels are always together? So let's take an example. So the word is learn. So what are the vowels here? E and A. So they are saying E and A should always be together. What are the remaining letters? L, R, N. So they are saying E, A will always be together. They are not saying where it should be. So what are the various places in which it can be arranged? Either it can be arranged in the front. So it becomes like E, A, L, R, N or in between L and R or between R and N or in after N. So there are four spaces. So which is nothing but four factorial. And what is pro probability between these two? This is nothing but EA or AE. So in two factorial ways it can be arranged. So how many words can be formed using the word learn? Is nothing but four factorial into two factorial. Let's take in another example with the repeated letters. So in case of aptitude, what are the vowels here? A we have I, U and E. So vowels are always together. So write it separately. What are the remaining letters? So we have P, we have T, we have T and D. So what are the places that it can be arranged together? It can be in the front, between these, between these, between here or in the last. So there are 5 spaces. So 5 factorial ways. In this, you can see T is repeated twice. As we have done in the previous videos, we have to divide it by 2 factorial into. What are the vowels given here? 4 vowels are there. How many ways these can be arranged within themselves? This 4 factorial. So once you solve this, you will know how many ways the word aptitude can be arranged when the vowels are always together. So in the previous concept, we dealt about vowels always together. Similar concept is applied for consonants always together. Let's take an example. How many words can be formed when consonants are always together? So what we did in the earlier types, we always club together the vowels. Now we have to do the opposite of it. Now we have to club the consonants together. So what are the consonants here? L, G and L. L, G, L together. So remaining letters is nothing but E and A. What are the various places L, G, L can be arranged? These are the three places it can be arranged. So it is three factorial ways. And within this, how many ways it can be arranged? It's three factorial. And L is repeated twice, so divided by two factorial. So once you solve this, you will know how many words can be formed using the word legal. Let's take an another example. Let's take the word learn. So what do we do here? We will club the consonants together. L, R, N. Remaining letters that we have is E and A. What are the places in which L, R, N can be placed? Either here, here, here. So we have three places. So we write it as three factorial. And how many ways L, R, N can be arranged? In three factorial ways. So if you can see that similar type of problem can be come for other words. So what do you mean by other words? So they will give you a question like let's take learn. And they are giving in the question that R and N should always be together. Or they will give L and E should always be together. So whenever that always together comes, club those words and put it in the bracket. Remaining letters, you can write it separately and fill the spaces. So that's how we have to do for always together. So now we have dealt with three types of sum in always together, which is with vowels, consonants and other words. Next topic that we are going to deal with never together with the similar vowels, consonant and other words. So this concept is nothing but never together. In the previous concept, we dealt with always together with respect to vowels, consonants and other words. So similarly, we are going to three types and we are going to take the concept of never together. So what is the formula here for never together? It is nothing but total number of ways minus always together. Let's take an example to understand the concept better. Let's take the word learn. So what is the total, total number of ways the word can be learn can be arranged? Total number of ways. It's nothing but 
5 factorial. So we don't have a repeated letter, so nothing will come in the denominator. Next, always together. How did we do the sum always together? So what we did? Vowels are always together. So E and A will be together. Remaining is L, R, N. What are the spaces here? 4 spaces we have. So we did as 4 factorial into 2 factorial. Now the question is not always together. They are asking what, what happens when the vowels are never together. So vowels are never together is nothing but total number of ways minus always together. So which is nothing but 5 factorial minus 4 factorial into 2 factorial. So once you solve this, you will know the answer for word learn when the vowels are never together. Let's take in another example with a repeated word. So the word sister. So as usual, for total number of ways, there's nothing but how many words we have? We have six factorial ways. And what are the repeated letters? S is repeated twice. So divided by two factorial. Now we are going to take vowels are always together. So, I and E are together. Remaining thing you have is S, S, T, R. What are the spaces here? So, we have 5 spaces. So, which is nothing but 5 factorial into 2 factorial. What do we miss here? S is repeated twice. So, divided by 2 factorial comes. So, what is the question? They are asking never together. So, the answer is for never together is total number of ways which is nothing but 6 factorial by 2 factorial minus vowels always together which is nothing but you can cancel this which is nothing but 5 factorial. So this is another concept. So similar type of sum will come with consonants or other words. Let's take an example. Let's take the same word learn. So now the concept is consonants are never together. So the example is learn. So the consonants are not together. So first we are going to take the total number of ways which is nothing but as usual 5 factorial. Now always together which is nothing but LRN together. EA will write it here. What are the places we have? 3 factorial. LRN can be arranged in 3 factorial ways. So the consonants never together for the word learn is nothing but 5 factorial minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So once you solve this, you will get the answer for the word learn. In case of the concept of other words, they will ask you the question like R and R can never be together or L and R can never be together. In that case, you do the similar way how you did it for vowel and consonants. What do you do? Total number of ways the word can be arranged is nothing but the number of letters in that. And always together you have to find where you have to club the words that they have given and the remaining spaces. So you will find the always together then subtract both of them will give you the never together. So in today's video we dealt about two concepts which is always together and never together. If you are a person who is looking for a job kindly register in freshersworld.com. Kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.